problem based on enthalpy that is heat of combustion a person inhales 640 gram of oxygen per day if all the oxygen is used for converting sugar into carbon dioxide and water how much sucrose is consumed in the body in one day and what is the heat evolved so delta heat of combustion of uh, sucrose is this much so we write this question c12 as 22 o11 plus 12 molecules of oxygen it will give you carbon dioxide plus water so here if you balance it it become 11 and delta h is given here minus 5645 kilojoule now number of oxygen used per day it will be how much so 640 divided by here 32 grams so it will give 20 moles now one more thing uh, for 12 moles of oxygen for 12 moles of oxygen okay 12 for moles of oxygen we require 342 grams of sucrose Okay, so for 20 moles of oxygen, how much sucrose we require? 342 divided by 12 into 20. So this will something comes about 570 gram of sucrose we require. Now how much delta H is required? Delta H will require here. So per mole given this much here. So 5645 into here 20 divided by 12. So we'll get answer here 9408.33 kilojoule. So this is the our answers. 12 grams of carbon react with oxygen to form carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide at 25 degrees centigrade and constant pressure. 75 kilocalorie of heat was elevated and no carbon main, remained. So calculate the mass of the oxygen which reacted. So heat of delta heat of formation standard heat of formation of carbon dioxide this much and heat of formation of standard heat of formation of carbon monoxide. So carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide both are given here. So first we will write the equations for carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So carbon plus oxygen it will give you carbon dioxide and second case carbon plus oxygen it will give you carbon monoxide so here it will be half in this case delta h is how much minus 25 uh, kilocalorie and in this case delta h is how much it will be minus 95 kilocalorie and again total mass of carbon is total mass of carbon is how much so it is given here 12 gram that is 1 mole so we will take here carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide as so this will be your so here you can take here so a plus b mole so this is your a mole this is your b mole so we can take like this one so a plus b is also given here a plus b is also given here one now heat liberated so delta h will be liberated how much so it will be your minus 25 so we can write here uh, so this will be your A plus B. So A is the carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is given here uh, minus 24. So we can write here minus 24 into A and this will be your plus uh, minus 95 into B. So oh, this is the equation 1. So we can write here so on solving. So 95 minus 90. So 95. Uh, so 95 B. So uh, 95B minus 24. A is equal to how much? 75. And now equation 1 and 2, if we solve it, so we will get here answer. So uh, this is your equation 1 and this is your equation 2. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So using equation 1 and 2, so we will get here uh, A is equal to 20 by 71 and here B is equal to here 51 by 71. So number of moles of oxygen used will be how much? So this will be your uh, so. be used here so b is the carbon dioxide okay so oxygen used here so here 20 by 71 into half plus 51 by 71 so this will be this will be equal to 122 by 142 so mass here mass of oxygen used will be 122 divided by 142 1 into 32 so you will get answers 27.49 gram so this is basically our answers combustion of ethane gas is 368 kilogram per mole so assuming that 60 percent of heat is useful how many uh, m gram of the ethane measured at stp must be burned to supply enough heat to uh, convert 30 kilogram of 50 kilogram water at 10 degree centigrade to steam at 100 degree centigrade a specific heat of water is 1 kilocalorie 1 calorie per gram and, and uh, latent uh, vaporization of water is 540 calorie per gram so we can write here delta h of heat of reaction is equal to delta h 
heating plus later heat of vaporization why we write this thing so this is the temperature 10 to 100 degree centigrade and this is data heat of vaporization which will convert into vapor form so first here given here so this is your you can use the value of mct so mc delta t so we can use the specific heat of water to find the how much heat is evolved so mass is given 50 into 10 to the power 3 a specific heat is given air and here temperature is 100 minus 10 and this heat of vaporization is uh, 540 into 50 into 10 power so on solving we will get here 31500 into 10 power 3 calorie but delta h actually needed so actually needed is how much so this is 31500 into 10 power 3 and 60 percent so 60 percent is actually needed because 60 percent of heat is used up so up now we can write here 368 into 10 power 3 calorie so heat is given on combustion of on combustion of by 22.4 liters of ethane gas okay so again for 31500 into 10 power 3 divided by 60 by 100 60 by 100 calorie calorie heat will be given by so we can solve it on solving 22.4 liter multiplied by 31500 into 10 power 3 into 100 and divide by 60 into 368 into 10 to the power 3 so on solving we will get here 3.196 into 10 power 3 liter or we can write 3.196 meter cube okay why because 1 meter cube is, is equal to 1000 liter so this is our answer and the heat liberated on complete combustion of 7.8 gram benzene is 327 kilojoule this heat has been measured at constant volume at, at 27 degrees centigrade the, calculate the heat of combustion of benzene at constant pressure at 27 degrees centigrade r is given here so we can write formula c6h6 plus oxygen it will give you what co2 plus water so balance it is a liquid state this will be your gaseous state so it will be your uh, 6 is there right here 6 so here it will be 3 and this will be your 15 by 2 so again here qv is given here minus 327 kilojoule so this is given our answer so delta u per mole will be how much so 327 because we multiplied by 78 and divided by 7.8 so this will be answers minus 3270 kilo per mole because we have to find a 78 gram of benzene now delta h is equal to delta u plus delta n r into t so what is delta n delta n nothing but the 6 minus 15 by 2 that is 3 by 2 so minus 3 by 2 solve it it will come here minus 3 by 2 so you can use this value so minus 3 to 7 0 and this will be your plus minus 3 by 2 r is given here 8.3 and multiply by 300 into 10 power minus 3 so answer will be here minus 3 to 73.735 kilo joule so this is our basically answer uh, the external enthalpy formation of carbon dioxide water and glucose is 25 degree centigrade so minus 400 kilojoule per mole 300 kilojoule per mole and minus 1300 kilojoule respectively what is the standard enthalpy of combustion per gram glucose at 25 degree centigrade so first you write the equations c6h12o6 with oxygen so it will give you here co2 plus water so balance it six molecules of water six molecules of oxygen so it will be six now heat of combustion is heat of combustion of glucose is how much so product mass reactant so we can write here 6 into delta heat of formation for uh, carbon dioxide okay so plus 6 into heat of formation plus for water okay so this will be minus put in bracket the heat of formation of glucose c6 s12 o6 okay so we can put directly value here 6 into minus 400 okay plus 6 into minus 300 so bracket closed here so again here minus 
1300 okay so on solving we will get here minus 2900 kilojoule per mole or we can write here this is per mole so if you want to write per gram so per gram will be your uh, is per mole given or we can write here minus 2900 uh, divided by 180 kilojoule per gram so or this will equal to minus 16.11 kilojoule per gram so this is our answers complete combustion of ethanol ethanol with reaction with the oxygen it will give you two molecules of carbon dioxide and water the amount of heat produced as measured in bomb calorie meter is 1364.4 joule uh, 47 kilojoule per mole at 25 degree centigrade assuming ideality the enthalpy of combustion for the reaction will be how much so first again you write the equation c2 h5 oh so it will react with the oxygen so it will give you here co2 plus water so balance it right here 2 here and right here here 3 so again again delta h is equal to delta u plus delta ng rt okay so here delta u is given here minus 1364.47 kilo joule per mole and delta ng is given here so minus 1 so it will be your minus 1 how minus 1 so we can see here uh, so this is your water in liquid state the water in liquid state this is in gaseous state so this is also in gaseous state this is liquid state so 2 minus 3 so this will come here 2 minus 3 so from here we can solve it so again so delta h will be how much minus 13 uh, 1364.47 and delta ng is equal to here minus 1 r is given here 8.314 multiplied by 298 Kelvin okay and divide by 1000 so this is given here 1000 okay so answer will be your minus 1366.93 kilo joule per mole okay so this is kilo joule because we are dividing to convert into into kilo so we are dividing 1000 so this is basically our answer